sorry about that, babe. Alright guys, welcome back to Bits Plays. This time we're going to be playing The Legend of Zelda on the NES. My first ever playthrough on console. Uh, the only other time I beat this game was on the 3DS, probably about seven years ago. So it's been quite a while. The Legend of Zelda. Many years ago, Prince Darkness Ganon stole one of the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda had one of the Triforce with Wisdom. She divided it into eight units to hide it from Ganon before she was captured. Go find the eight units link to save her. And here are all the treasures that you could find by defeating enemies, um, blowing up secret things on the overworld, going into shops, so on and so forth. This is, I don't necessarily want to say this is going to be a 100% run, but it kind of might be, in a sense. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of secret finding. Um, but actually, before we even do the first main dungeon, we're going to be doing a lot of preparing. I want to get this out of the way first. We might die a few times. We might have to grind for some rupees, but I like to basically power up before I go into the first dungeon. And um, like I said, it has been a while since I played, so probably going to be re really, really rusty. Um, as Zelda isn't one of my favorite series, I do greatly appreciate it for what it is. It is a very, very fun game, um, but it's not really like one of my favorite favorites. But I do feel like it's time to start really playing through chronicling it. I did review this, by the way, on my channel many years ago. I haven't watched it in a while. I don't know if I'm still proud of the review or not, but I'll link it in the uh, description below or pinned comment below or something. All right. We have to actually recharge my retro USB wireless controller, uh, and it's been doing some weird double inputs, so bear with me if that happens once in a while. I also want to point out this is the first time I'm recording without my headphones on. Um, I managed to set up my microphone where it doesn't really pick up any audio from behind. So we should be fine and not have any weird, like, double game audio stuff going on. This is like my, my test run. I did a brief recording and it sounded pretty good, so I'm pretty happy about that. I don't like wearing headphones, guys. It, it bothers the shit out of me. Alright, here we go. Let's get started. So obviously the first thing you're gonna do... You gotta go get the sword, right? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this, one of the most... Iconic. Is this even a scene? Like, what do you even call it, you know? Alright, so, we got our sword. Uh, and obviously if you have full health, uh, you're able to shoot a projectile, which is pretty nice. Our first goal is we need to get bombs. So we're gonna have to kind of go all the way over here. To the right. And up a little bit. And obviously if we could find any rupees along the way, that would be great. Because I think we need 20 rupees to buy some bombs. There is also a chance that um, some enemies drop bombs, I just can't remember which ones do. So we're not going to rely on that, obviously. Alright, we like to see that. Also, I apologize, I am playing with the retro USB controller, which is very, very loud. <laughs> If I play more, like, action-oriented games, I might switch to my 8-bit Do controller just because it's... It's not quite as noisy, right? Well, we're almost to the 20 rupees, so that's good. Nice, we have surpassed the 20 rupee mark, people. Um, most of the time, if you kill the enemies on the screen... Oh, we actually got a bomb drop. Wow. That's crazy. We still might buy some bombs, though. Just to have some extras. But the enemies don't respawn until you either die, or I think, like, if you go into a dungeon or something and come back, they'll respawn. So it is beneficial, like, if, especially if you're in, uh, exploration mode. To clear everything off the board. Man, we're getting lots of rupee drops. Oof. Look at those blocks. Holy shit. What am I, a pro? Pro Zelda player over here? So even though we do have some bombs, we're gonna buy a few more. Um, 
And now that we got our bombs, our next goal is actually going to be going back and finding heart pieces and hidden rupees. And one of the main reasons that I like to buy the uh, extra bombs is because sometimes I completely fuck up uh, where the <laughs> where the hidden stuff is. I think for the most part I got it memorized, but we might have a few stray bombs here and there. I think there's okay. This is the first one. Is it right? Where is it? I can't remember. Like right here. There we go. So it's a potion or a health upgrade, and obviously I'm always going to go health upgrade because that just gives me extra hits to survive, and I suck, so. So I'm actually going to try to clear most of the screens, as I said, just to get extra rupees because we're going to be buying a lot of shit, so. Shit. Oh, no. All the rupees, the better. Okay. We'll just pepper from afar. I noticed, I don't think these guys drop rupees often. Ooh, that was really sloppy of me. I think we're going over here now. Yeah, now it's gonna get a little tough without my projectiles. I'm trying not to die. Dying isn't the end of the world, but obviously if I don't have to, then I don't want to. Hey, more bombs. That's good, I guess. So I think the max is actually eight, right? <sighs> oh, I thought I blocked that shit. Holy fuck, now we're getting messed up, guys. Hurry! We're not in a great spot, that's all I'm gonna say. Not a great spot right now without a... You know what, in fact... There we go. Now we got hearts, so that's good. Nice. Well, that actually turned out pretty well getting that, uh... That clock, huh? Alright. Get the worker away. Up. Whoop. Oh, God. Gotta be careful here. I might do another bomb, honestly. Ugh, not good. Hey, that's good. What is up with these guys? Sometimes they move like super fast and then sometimes they move slow in that instance. It's kind of odd. All right, we got some more rupees. Um, okay, careful. Oh. Shit. We could have had a full health bar if I didn't suck. Uh, I don't know where this is. There it is. Some more secret rupees. And now we're gonna go find another heart piece, which I can't remember exactly where it is. It's in here somewhere, I just don't remember which block. Luckily we have four bombs, so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully we don't waste all of them, otherwise we're going to have to go back. Um, is it... Let's kind of place it in the middle. Alright, perfect. I think if you place it kind of in the middle, <clears throat> obviously it would 
if the door was to the left or where it was to the right, it would blow up either or. Good way to uh, preserve some bombs. So now uh, we have another heart container, which is awesome. And we're going to continue on in our quest here. Again, like I said, we might have to farm for some rupees at some point. I hope not, but... I hate these enemies, by the way. You can only kill them when they're done, like, moving around, basically. There we go. Gladly we'll take a rupee. I just want to kill this dude, just to kind of clear the board and potentially get another rupee. Boop. Ah. Uh, that is not where I wanted to go. I need to go up here, I think. Actually, did I want to go there? Uh, I don't even know. Is this an entrance to a dungeon? Oh, the rupee game. Oh, God. Do I even bother? I don't know. I feel like every time I play this, I just lose my, my rupees. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what to do, guys. Because it, basically if I end up losing all my rupees, I'm going to have to uh, fucking farm for them. Oh, we got plus 50. All right, let's leave. We're done. <laughs> we are done there, people. By the way, I could certainly use some health. Show this to the old woman. So this is another um, thing that we could equip to slot B. And there's a woman somewhere, I think, closer to the western side of the map. I don't remember what she gives you, but if you show that to her, she gives you something. We'll obviously find out soon. Oh no. Ah. Yeah, we need some hearts because pretty soon I think... Fucking shit. This is where um, the falling boulders come into play and they're like freaking erratic and I have no idea to actually touch them <laughs> if we're being honest with each other. That's good. Oh! You know what I was just gonna say? I haven't fucking seen a fairy yet. I'm telling you, usually the few times that I've played Zelda in the past, I get the fairies like fucking all the time. Well, that was a very well-timed fairy, so we'll say that. So now we got the blue candle, which allows us to like burn down bushes and stuff. Um, there's actually gonna be a considerable amount of secrets that you could find uh, by burning down the bushes which is gonna be basically part of our our next routine here. I can't remember, do I go up there? I don't think I do. I think I go up here. Might as well clear this out, I guess. You know what, I'm not gonna fuck with that right now. So now we're trying to get the white sword. right over here Whew. master using it and you could have this well I got a spoiler for you old man we're just gonna freaking take it <laughs> all right so now the white sword actually allows us to pretty easily kill stuff uh, it cuts damage down by about a half I noticed I'm trying to show you an example and I can't fucking hit this guy See, so that guy dies in one uh, projectile shot now. I can't remember, does this guy need to be killed with a special sword? No. Ooh, bombs! Eh. But that guy took three shots with the white sword, so that probably meant, would have meant like six to eight or something if I had the, uh, the regular one. Trying to make things easier on myself here. Alright, here come the falling rocks. We're just gonna go for it. Fuck it. 
Keep moving, Link. Cut down. All right, wow. Surprised I didn't get hit there. I usually always do. All right, and here is gonna be uh, one of the first instances of burning the bushes. Uh, I don't know which bush it is, though. It's that one. We got more rupees. And there's gonna be a lot of instances of burning stuff coming up. No! Oh! There we go. That's good. Ah. Get a little sloppy here, guys. Ooh! Come on. Don't. No, no, no. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna be burning bushes aimlessly here. Alright, well, I don't know how that worked, but it worked. And there's actually going to be another heart piece coming up. And we're going to be buying a magical shield, which will be able to block projectiles from guys like that. Uh, I, oh yeah, that's right, okay. It's on this screen, so I want to kill this guy. I think it's the fifth one, or is it the sixth one? I think it's five. Yep. Grab this heart. Let's move on to the shield. Uh, can't remember if it was here or the next screen. If it was either a hidden vendor or a normal vendor. I wanna, fuck, well, there goes that. All right, good. All right, cool, magical shield. Perfect. But this is like the point where I kind of feel like I end up like running out of money and shit, but I guess we'll see. Oh boy. More rupees, please. Oh shit. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yo, I'm getting lucky as fuck today. I know, like, the screens where the stuff is, but I typically, like, end up having to spam and go... So, from my knowledge, my little knowledge of Zelda, if I were to fuck up the flame, I have to walk off the screen in order to kind of, like, regenerate it again. So I've been getting very lucky to not have to redo the same stuff over and over again. And like I said, uh, I kind of need a lot of rupees coming up, so I'm just going to keep killing the enemies that are in my way. Especially now with the, the white sword, things are a little bit easier. Hopefully I don't get hit often, right? I hate these guys. No! I do kind of want to kill them though. Just... Woo! Oh my god, how did I not get hit there? Yo, like, are they gonna land ever, or what? <sighs> I gave up, as you can see. No, come back, fairy! Thank you. Oh, no! Yes, keep giving me those rupees, baby. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna pick up the arrows here. We're fucking broke though already, which sucks. We are broke. There are a few more uh, secret rupee spots coming up though, thankfully. There's one down here, but we'll... See, now we're getting all the drops over here. Now I can't get that rupee, fuck. All right. So let's kill, let's clear the screen. Uh, where is it? Here? Nope, all right. There was our first flub, guys. One of these bushes. There we go. Okay, go down the stairs.
I mean, 10 rupees is 10 rupees. I'll take it. Alright, let's clear the screen. Same old deal here. There's gonna be another one of these bushes that you could light on fire, but obviously it wasn't that one. Oop. There we go. We're gonna need like 250 rupees or some ridiculous shit to get uh, the final item that I wanna get before we go into the first dungeon. Yes, we still haven't gone into the first dungeon, people. Isn't that crazy? Just a heart? That's all you got for me? Come on now. Alright, I can't remember. Is there a secret over here? I think there is. It's either this one or the next screen, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Well, I guess we could always just light stuff on fire. Let's see. I feel like there's a secret over here, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll move on to the next screen. So we're not aimlessly, uh, fucking just lighting shit on fire for 20. Oh, it's this one, right? I think you can blow up one of these rocks. Do we still have, like,. Eight, seven bombs. Oh, okay, so this is where things can start getting sketchy, people. Uh, Alright, I don't want to waste all my bombs, but... Oh, boy, oh, boy. Um... Hmm. Is it in the wall? Okay. I don't know why, I thought it was one of the, uh, the boulders that were, like, sticking out in the front, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we'll probably stick with the bombs. And now we're gonna work our way over here, because we're gonna try to get a potion. Oh yeah, I think if you show the old- that's right. If you show the old woman the, the, uh, the blue paper, uh, she turns into, like, a potion salesman. And I gotta look it up in the manual, I can't remember. I'm obviously not a Zelda aficionado. The blue potion, I think, is worse than the red one. I think the red one heals you twice or something? Or it has the ability for two uses? But we'll find out. We'll find out. I think she's in there. Oh! What, no heart? Come on now. Alright, so if we equip that and show her, buy medicine before you go. I will buy some of this. So we are heh, many, many rupees short from our last goal before the first dungeon. So what we're gonna do is we're going to see if we can organically. Uh get the rupees that we need but I am a little bit skeptical I feel like we're probably gonna end up having to do some rupee grinding unfortunately not a huge fan of rupee grinding without uh, the heart please Oof. well that sucked Okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, I'll always take more bombs, but... I kinda need rupees right now, people. That's what I really need. The rupee gods are being very unkind, people. They really are. Oh, 
There we go. I guess sometimes you just gotta talk to it, right? Ugh, the slowdown. So there is another secret over here. And it's easy to remember this secret because there is that little divot in the wall, which kind of makes it unique. Ah, the unnecessary clock. <laughs> Didn't need that whatsoever. So anyways, right here. Are these all 10s? I don't remember. 30. I mean, that's decent. I still think I'm gonna be short, guys. I think I'm gonna have to grind for some roops. And this is one of the uh, repeating sections, if I remember correctly. Like, if you just keep going up and down, it just keeps doing the same shit. I need some hearts, not bombs, all right? Or rupees, either or. All right, here's another secret. Another easy screen to remember. About to switch over to this. And burn, ah, did I get it? I did. How many rupees you got, buddy? Huh? Ooh, a hundred. Wait a minute. Do I have enough? I am... S <laughs> uh, I am still short, but I think... I am pretty sure that there is one more rupee spot that we could hit up. Plus, obviously... We got this. I don't want to die. I'd actually really like a friggin'... Can you guys give me a heart soon? Jesus. Enough of the bombs. Eh, I don't want to use my potion, but... I don't know. Fuck, dude. Well, we're not doing great health-wise here, unfortunately. Um, I'm still not going to use my potion, though. One of these bushes... There we go. First try, baby. Oh yeah, that's right, we do have the, uh... We have the fairy fountain coming up. I'm just trying to think, do I want to do that now? Or on the way back down? And I think the fairy fountain's the next... Yeah, the next spot. Well, I guess we'll see how, uh... This battle goes, right? Before we decide whether or not... We want to load up on the ferry. The ferry's up here. Ferry fountain, whatever you want to call it. Alright. Alright, we have enough rupees, so that's good. Because typically I always find myself not having enough for some reason. I don't know if it's because I must have lost uh, too much at the, uh, the secret rupee place. The, the rupee game, if you will. Uh, are you a salesman? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't need anything in here. Ooh, you know what? Hmm. I'm gonna quit my bomb. I, I don't want to get the fairy stuff. Oh, shit. Ooh, there's a fairy. Perfect, we actually needed that, because I don't remember which statue it is, and they could be a bit of a pain. I think this is the screen where the, the statues move like a million miles a minute. Yeah. I think it, is it this one? No, it's still not that one? Oh, shit. Ugh. There we go. This guy? There we go. Okay, now we're gonna get the blue ring, and I'm pretty sure 
that this is the last thing that we're gonna get um, before the first dungeon. Oh shit, I just realized, yeah, my uh, my suit changed because of the ring, I believe, right? Alright, so, now, we're going to head to the first dungeon, which is actually, like, really close to the beginning of the game. I'm just trying to think of what's the best way to go back. Probably this way, right? As you can see, the enemies respawned as well. I'm pretty sure, like I said, when you go into a dungeon, when you die, when you do, like, a, a big event of some sort, everything will just kind of respawn, which is good, because... There'll be many instances where you have to grind, right? For rupees or, uh, like, bombs or whatever the case may be. Um, the first dungeon is over this way, right? It's on the water. Whoa! Ah, poop. Give me that. I'm trying to kill this guy just for the sake of doing it. There. Fuck off, buddy. Uh, yeah, 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 it's up here. Okay. We are all good, people. Oh my goodness, that was a buffoon move on my part. No heart? Oh wait, one of them did drop a heart. Didn't notice that. Okay. You know, that's actually good, getting the bomb drop there. Top a spec off at 8 right before the dungeon. I will take that any day of the week. And this is where I'm going to take a brief break. I'll be doing chapters and stuff throughout this playthrough for you guys in order to uh, see all the cool parts wherever you want to go. Skip around, it doesn't matter. So, we did our... Uh, power leveling, power grinding, whatever you want to say. We got bombs, arrows, the blue candle flame. We unlocked the potion salesman. We got the white sword. We got the blue ring. And we found many, many uh, hidden rupee spots. And now we're going to enter into the first dungeon. All right, let's head on in. So with uh, the dungeons... Um, as you'll see, there's many locked doors. There's also lots of rooms that you could blow up with bombs um, that are, you know, I guess sort of secret. I, I would say that they're kind of marked in a way, but... And a lot of the rooms will kind of be... They won't unveil anything until you kill all the enemies. As you can see, uh, we just unveiled a key. And a lot of these dungeons are shaped like things. Uh, this one is sort of shaped like an eagle. Like, if you look at the, uh, the way that the whole dungeon is set up. It's racking up keys here. I mean, you know, like, I don't want to get it twisted, right? Oh, also, just for example, this is a spot where you put a bomb. Uh, see how there's, like, these markings on the walls? But, I know that there's nothing to be found there, from what I remember, at least. But anyway, even though I said that I'm not a huge fan of Zelda, Again, it's not that I don't like it. I do like these games, I really do appreciate them. I just wasn't a big fan growing up. Uh, so I don't have like any nostalgia factor at all for Zelda, which I think does play into it at least a little bit, you know what I mean? Like I'll be the first to admit that my undying love for Shining Force, a bit of it is nostalgia, as much as the game is great. Um, you know, if you played it a lot or you loved it a lot as a kid, you know, it's a, it's a big difference, right? All right, so this is actually Probably one of the first instances, right? Yeah, you can blow stuff up there. Uh, let's go over here. I'm just gonna try to explore the dungeons fully. You actually don't need to go into, like, every room and kill every enemy, but... That is a... If I remember correctly, the, those are map pieces, right? I think so. Or I got... Yeah, okay, so it told me where the boss is. That's right. It told me where the boss is. That's what it is. And you know what? I, I might want to do the Master Quest uh, when I'm done with this. I've never done the Master Quest before. Ooh, we got the Boomerang? Oh, nice. I didn't know that we got the Boomerang that early. So we have two keys. 
So I actually think we could fight the boss already. Pretty sure. Right? Because I can just go up there. But we're going to continue to explore around. We were by the, the boss marker, obviously. Okay. Alright, so... Just wanted to pause this so you guys could see. Uh, the yellow map is where we have explored already. We got the compass which points to the boss and the dungeon. Uh, and the bottom is the, the overview, I guess, of the entire dungeon. Um, if you find that, I think it reveals most secrets, right? I could be wrong, but I think it does. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of shaped like... I mean, it's not perfectly shaped like an eagle, but it's an eagle. <laughs> This way. And I was gonna say, oftentimes things will be unlocked by pushing blocks and stuff. Which is an interesting mechanic. Eastmost peninsula is the secret. So as you can see, occasionally you get I guess you'd kind of consider it almost a cryptic secret at this point, right? Something to note for later, that the Eastmost Peninsula is indeed a secret. Boop. I don't know, there's something about... Uh, I, I really enjoy the dungeons in the Zelda games. They're just... I don't know, especially this one. It's like the first dungeon, really. I think you can go to other dungeons first, but this is usually the one that people go to first, so it's your... Technically your first ever Zelda dungeon, right? It just has this charm to it, I can't quite explain it. Oh, I forgot about those guys. So one of these could be moved. There we go. Oh, and then you go to the- yeah, 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 that's right. Oh, nice! Okay, so there's our bow. We got the arrows, so that's good, right? So now I'm pretty sure that realistically the only place to go uh, would be to go kill the boss. Um, I think the boss not only has the Triforce, but you get like a health upgrade, right? And the ol there's only been one uh, tile, I think, that we didn't explore. Other than the boss, right? Up and to the right. Yeah, there's only one I didn't explore. Maybe I'll go explore it. I don't think there's anything there, but... We pretty much cleared everything out anyway, so it's not a big deal. And I think it's over... Here? Yeah, I didn't go down here. Okay, some bats. Oop! Well, that kind of sucks. Bam. Uh... Oh, okay. The door opened with the bats being killed. I was gonna say, don't I have to push a block, but that didn't make any sense. Well, that's actually good. I didn't know that the, uh, was I not here yet? No, I was. I guess some, some of the enemies respawn in the dungeon, other than just the blobs, which I wasn't quite aware of. But let's go take on the first dungeon boss, and then, uh, just for, for reference, I'm gonna be doing a bit of saving and then recording with different sessions because I have a herky-jerky time schedule. I think if you save when you're in a dungeon, it brings you to the first floor of the dungeon. If you save when you're in the overworld, it brings you to... Oh my god, why did I do that? It brings you back to the beginning of the game. And I think you only start with three hearts, so just keep that in mind. If uh, you see me start something up and all of a sudden I only have three hearts or I'm somewhere that I shouldn't be, that's why. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, first boss time. Obviously a lot easier with the white sword, right? And I think that my shield actually would have blocked the projectiles. It's still not that hard of a boss though, but. And here we go, guys. The first piece of the Triforce. How excited are you? I know I'm excited. And it should send me back outside the dungeon. To which we will have to kill an enemy. And I'm gonna say that uh, I'm very happy with the progress so far. Our power leveling and equipping. And we got the first piece of the Triforce. So we will pick up uh, back at the beginning of the game because I'm gonna have to turn the game off. Alright, so as you can see, um, this is a new session, so I lost a bunch of my hearts and we started back at the beginning of the game. I don't want to use uh, my potion until, like, I have to, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to get some hearts on the way to the second dungeon, which uh, can be affectionately referred to as, whoa, that's not going to help, the moon There we go. That's what we're talking about. Alright, now let's just get another one and hopefully, somehow, not uh, get hit on the way over, but you know what? Probably will. Well, I guess maybe not. But I don't mind getting rupees, you know what I'm saying? close so the second dungeon is uh whew. well I don't know why I did that but I guess it doesn't matter because there was a fairy there I believe the second dungeon is this way it's up in one of the green areas and I don't think it's a secret entrance if I remember correctly uh, it should be over here. Yeah, I think it's at the top of these stairs, but could be wrong. You got a rupee for me? Eh? If I could hit you? The world's most elusive enemy right there. Alright, yeah, I believe uh, that this is the entrance to the dungeon. Ugh. Let's, uh, take this shit on, shall we? Uh, I like the color scheme here. I'll just say that right off the bat. Big fan. It reminds me of, um, I refer to this, like, every time I freaking watch something with my wife. But in a lot of the Tales from the Crypt episodes, and I guess horror in general, probably back in the 80s and 90s more so, um... If they shot nighttime shots, they would always have this, like, blue tint to them, almost. No, fucker. I mean, everything would be kind of black, but it would be, like, mostly blue and hazy, almost. Anybody that knows, knows what I'm talking about. So it kind of, uh, brings me back to that feeling, you know? Um, let's go back to this first section. Oopsies. Can't walk into a door, though. And I think I mentioned it ugh, when I was in the first dungeon, but in order just to have me uh, be able to edit a little bit quicker and easier, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut my, my segments after each... basically after each dungeon at this point. That way it's easier for me to do my, my timestamps and shit. But I'm probably going to be playing a, uh, a pretty big section of the game today. I have off of work, so good times, right? Work is holding me back, you know what I'm saying? I should be sitting here all day playing video games. Alright, we got the compass, so that points out where the boss is. <clears throat> Still would like to find the map. Um, so I th How many bombs do we have? Still got eight. 
Start blowing some shit up here. Oh, we got a hint. So, I take it that these blobs infinitely respawn, if I remember correctly, from the first dungeon. They don't seem to drop anything, which is actually fucking annoying. So, as you can see why this one is nicknamed the moon, um, well, quite frankly, it's because it's shaped like a, what is that, a crescent moon of some sort? Can't quite remember. Um, let me think. I guess we'll go through here. Pretty, go. Oh, pretty clearly, uh, you could blow up that top section in the previous room. God damn it. Oh nice, another bomb. <clears throat> you can blow up the top section in the other room because, well, it shows on the map. So let's do so. I'm gonna constantly keep checking back on the pause menu because that shows you where you've been. I like to hit every single section just because you know, obviously I don't know the game that well. So I want to make sure that I'm not missing something. Oh no, here we go guys. Getting sketchy up in this bitch. Whoa. Wait, I got something? <clears throat> Am I tripping? Or did something open, I guess. Probably would be the... Oh, I just got hit guys. Fucking statues, dude. Oh, I'm about to get hit again! Run! <sighs> Very generous dungeon here, giving us some bombs. That'd be really fucking annoying, wouldn't it? If, like, you couldn't get bombs in these dungeons. Could you imagine? You just sit there and accidentally bomb some areas, you know? Like, before you get the map. It would be very, very dreadful. Um, uh, so we can go north. Oh. The Dongo dislikes smoke. Okay. I don't remember, like, what that means, exactly. <laughs> Does that mean that, uh, he... Where haven't I been yet? Pretty much everywhere on this side. Oh, I don't have a key! Oh, it looks like we gotta go back. Does he not like bombs? That'd be my guess. Alright, whatever here. I don't think you could... Oh, you can kill these things. For some reason I thought it was like one of those enemies that you can't kill. Hey! Oh, there's a key! Let's go. We haven't been uh, south yet, though. Clear this shit out as well. You know, I mentioned that I'm not the biggest Zelda fan that there is, but honestly, they're fucking solid, dude. I'm all about, like, dungeon gameplay, you know what I'm saying? So, like, this type of shit is just right up my alley. It's a lot of fun. And I typically like the puzzles that are uh, present in the Zelda games, like the ones in Link to the Past, where, you know, like, they make you think a little bit here and there for sure, but I wouldn't say that they're, like, fucking mind-numbing, because I'm, I'm like, I'm not exactly the smartest tool in the shed when it comes to that type of stuff, so. The sharp, there you go, the smartest tool in the shed, the sharpest tool in the shed. Isn't that funny? How do you, uh, tell people you're stupid without telling people you're stupid, so. Alright, cool. It is funny, because, um, I've been playing so many RPGs lately, right? That I haven't done, like, gameplay and commentary in a while. I used to do it a lot when I was streaming, clearly, but... Um... It's definitely been a hot minute trying to actually, like, super concentrate while talking, because in RPGs you usually have a lot of time to think and breathe, you know, because everything's turn-based for the most part. Even action RPGs could be a little bit more laid back, but... This has been a little bit more frantic, and <laughs> I'm uh, stumbling over my words a little bit here. Alright, we got Dodongo! You don't like the smoke? I don't know, did that even hit you? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, 
All right. Well, I guess it's a really freaking good thing that they gave out uh, the bombs, dude, because I only have three left. For some reason, I thought you could actually attack the Dongo, but I guess you couldn't. The more you know. And there we go. The second piece of the Triforce. All about it. We'll uh, now move on to the third dungeon. This is definitely an instance where it would be a lot quicker to go back to the dun uh, the next dungeon if I were to save and quit out. But of course, then, you know, you have to go kind of farm for hopefully getting a fairy or a bunch of hearts or something, so... We'll just go the long way, but essentially we kind of have to go back to the, uh... Oh my god, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I wasn't looking at all. Ah, whatever. Now we're just fucking everything up. Yeah, I got caught in that bush. Wasn't paying attention. But yeah, it'd be a lot quicker to just kind of go back to the beginning. But, nevertheless... Uh, da -da -da -da. Oops. Oh! God damn it. Good thing I have the the weapons and armor and stuff that I do where I don't necessarily lose an entire heart on one hit, you know? Okay. Boop. Do you want to drop a rupee or something? I mean, I'm okay with that. No? Alright, fine. Be that way. Okay, finally back to the beginning. It's basically a couple screens uh, over to... Oops. Hmm, should we buy some bombs? I don't remember, does this guy sell bombs? No, obviously that was a rupee dude. My bad. That was a rupee guy. Hey. Again, usually the game's pretty good about giving you bombs and shit like when you need to. I miss the fairy. It's a sad day. But we have another chance. Just getting it just to get it, guys. Don't actually need it there, clearly. Whoop. Burp. You know what? I feel like killing you. How about it? How you like them apples? Whoa! Can I...? Like, since I already have a red one in my inventory... What happens if I buy the blue? I don't remember. It doesn't replace it, does it? Let's see. It does not. Uh... I think I just wasted rupees, guys, but it's fine. Don't <clears throat> do as I do. Do as I say. Don't bother. <laughs> Don't bother. Alright. Next dungeon hype. Dungeon number three. So, I can't remember how to pronounce this word. Manji or Manji? I'm gonna go with Manji, but we're not gonna refer to it that much. We'll refer to it as dungeon three. So... You'll see this eventually. This is an infamous dungeon. People think that this is a swastika? <laughs> but it's not. It's it's uh, the sign of peace. It's the reverse swastika. So don't get any uh, don't get any crazy ideas here, okay? This is a family-friendly channel. All right. Boop. Yeah, let's get some of those rupees back <laughs> that we wasted. I'm assuming the blue potion might have actually full healed me on the spot. I haven't looked at the manual in a while. I don't remember. Obviously the red one stays in your inventory. So I can't tell if the blue one would have gone in had I not had the red one. Or if the blue one just did a straight full heal, kind of like a fairy. Either way, doesn't matter, it was a waste of money. So, how about that? 
as we're just getting fairies at this point like they're going out of style. Oh, that's right, these guys. You know, looking at these guys, it reminds me of uh, Tower of Druaga, like a lot. Which is funny, um, because if I remember correctly, Tower of Druaga was actually a inspiration for Zelda. One of a few, not the main one, but yeah, it looks very much like Tower of Druaga. By the way, guys, pretty, pretty fun Famicom game. Uh, very fucking cryptic, though, so do yourself a favor if you actually play it and, um, use a guide. Don't be a hero. But I reviewed that on my channel a while ago, so if you want to go check that out, by all means. Oop. Ooh, I almost got hit there. those moves I'm unstoppable baby come on All right, what do we got what do we got ooh we got something down here holy fuck it's a lot of guys Yo, they're like eating bombs like fucking breakfast over here. I hope I didn't just waste a bunch of bombs. Like, I hope these guys actually fucking drop something. <laughs> well, I got my bombs back, right? Okay, so basically we just got a bunch of bombs. Although I... Think that might have been a special rupee. Oh, the raft! Yes, yes, yes. Um, if my vague memory serves correctly, the raft is needed in order to get to a dungeon that's coming up. I don't think it's the next dungeon that we want to go to, though. Could be wrong. Maybe it is. All right, so let's head up. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, these guys. I don't think I can kill them, right? No. Nah, fuckers. Oh, that's right. Don't they, they like paralyze you or something? I think that's their shtick. Because I wasn't able to use my sword for a few seconds. I believe so, anyway. They're just dropping bombs on me like <laughs> I'll reserve any uh, I'll reserve any funny comment there that is probably insensitive at this point um is four the max amount of keys that you can get or can you, can you keep stacking them up I don't remember anyway let's continue on here hey okay so the boss is actually really close but, like I said guys, I like going through the dungeons, I'm a completionist. So let's continue on here. Although the boss is, uh, getting hypo over there, apparently. I hear him. Oh, feels real bad. We lost our uh, invincibility. Sad, sad day. Alright, we regained it. Did I say invincibility? I meant the uh, projectile. Ooh. Oh no! Do they actually hurt me or do they just freaking paralyze me is the question. So we are one screen away from... Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the... Okay, yeah, 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 that's right. So the, the blinking thing is the Triforce. I don't think it's the boss. So the boss is right ahead. I don't want to go there yet, because we haven't even explored, like, the top part of this area. 
let's go back. And it looks like we can get into that arena in a few different ways, which is pretty cool. Hey! Alright, so we'll go north. I think this is pretty much the only place I didn't go yet, is that correct? Yeah, besides the, the boss arena and the Triforce area. thought he was tricky. Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the waterfall? I'm assuming... Oh shit! I forgot. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. My bad, dude. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm assuming he's referring to the white sword. Oh my god, I feel so bad that I hit that guy. That's like the worst when you accidentally attack people. Like, I remember my first playthrough of Dark Souls. I laid my controller down, face down for some reason, I went to the bathroom. And I remember with my specific Xbox One controller, I played, the first playthrough of Dark Souls, by the way, was the 360 version backwards compatible on my Xbox One. I played it in 2016. When I laid my controller down, one of the, uh, I think I heavy attacked Solaire by accident. And obviously he got very, very aggroed. And then I ended up having to kill him. And I felt horrible since Solaire is, you know, the sun bro. Are you mad at me still, bro? Are you still mad? Alright, good, he's not mad anymore. Okay, um... Don't really remember, uh... This, what this boss is, like, at all, actually. And I hope there's not a gimmick. I'd prefer it to be a uh, straight up, just like, attack the boss sort of thing. You might need... Potentially, you might need the white sword for this boss. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to... Go ahead and actually... Go in the long way. You could blow through the door, but I don't want to waste the bomb. Just in case... Plus, we might be able to get a few more uh, rupees or something. That was a quick turn, buddy. I will leave that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh! Oh my god! The bomb fucks that dude up! Holy shit! That was nuts! Wasn't expecting that, actually. Huh. Alright, well, let's take care of this dude. Oh, no! We all make mistakes from time to time. Alright, cool. Third dungeon in the books. Let's move on to the fourth. Alright, so we're actually gonna have a bit of a backtrack. We're gonna go for another heart container. Um, since we got the raft. Oh, shit, I forgot my projectile. Come on, dude. How'd that hit me? Some dumb shit. Hearts, please. Thank you. Anyway. We're, we're really close to the next dungeon. The next dungeon is indeed uh, the one with the raft that I was thinking about. I couldn't remember if it was the one immediately after the one after... Dungeon... Well, in this case it would be dungeon 4. Couldn't remember if it was 4 or 5. Again, I think you can kind of go out of order in this game in some instances, but... Typically like to go in a set pattern. Sure. Uh, quickest way to get to where I want to go... Probably better to go this way. Walk along... The coast... Is there really anything more iconic than this square? You know, like I said, not, not the biggest Zelda guy there is, but, like, honestly. Isn't this square just iconic as fuck? Tile, whatever you want to call it. Mm. 
Man, dropping tons of fairies right now. If you want to drop them a little later after I have to go through this area, that'd be okay. Yeah, I'll leave that. Getting early game vibes here, right? During our our power grinding, power searching, whatever you want to call it. What should we call that? Just gearing up? I mean, it's not really power leveling because you don't level up in Zelda. I, mean, I wouldn't say, well, at times you're grinding maybe for a few rupees here and there, but I don't know. Deflect though. Oh! Oh my god, I'm stunting on these dudes. Do you see that? <laughs> I'm like turning my back to him. Like, oh, oh! Oh, wait, can I get this one? Is it possible for me to just put the raft down and walk over? I don't remember if you use the raft here or if you use like a wooden board type of thing. Uh, I don't remember. Kind of uh, blurring my. My games together. Let's see. Can we use the raft? Oh, the raft is a... Okay. So, no. The answer is no, guys. The answer is no. Let's grab that. Okay. I think we could use it here, though, right? Yes, okay. Uh, just going in. Going in right here. Oh, here we go, baby. You know what we want. Another heart. Guys, it's pretty much, like, self-explanatory. But don't grab, don't grab the potions unless you're doing a challenge run, okay? Not worth it. A double fucking fairy spawn. Unreal. I never get that shit when I need it though, I'm telling you. It's always like... A super grind when I don't fucking need it. Yo, I feel like these guys are moving fast as hell over here. Forgot about them. Well, that's good at least, right? Oh, they're still fucking invulnerable? That's actually whack. I cannot tell a lie. I'm trying to sneak that. There we go, give me that. I would have thought that the guys that uh, can only be killed when they're static, I would have thought that they would have been able to be killed when they're frozen, but like, I guess they're obviously frozen in their... Frozen in time, but in their flying state, which makes them not vulnerable to my attacks. Sad times. Boop. Hey, almost back up to uh, 200 rupees. Get me out of here. Alright, we are getting close. Shit. Oh no! There we go. Oh, I wasn't paying attention again. Oh my god, now I don't have full health. <laughs> I have a habit of like randomly looking off the screen when I'm nearing the edge. And then of course, you know, enemies start spawning and stuff, so it's good times all around for everybody. I think we're getting close. Is it here? I believe so. Alright. 
It is Ta'ar. Oh, yeah. Oh, isn't this, uh... Wait a minute, guys. I can't remember if this is where it starts getting annoying. I think it was this dungeon. This might be the dungeon or the next one, but I feel like I remember this color scheme. Uh, is where some annoying enemies and stuff start popping up. But it's okay. Also, this dungeon is referred to as the snake. For those of you wondering, since I'm constantly shouting out the shape of the dungeons. Or keys. Oh, I see. You don't even drop anything? Come on now. Oh, that's right. We're dark in here. Does my candle do anything? Yes. Indeed it does. Nice little double kill there. Alright, so now we know that the Triforce is to the upper right, so obviously it is a twirling snake. <clears throat> Ooh, that was close to getting hit. Oops. Let there be light. Oh my god, yo, I hurt myself with the own flame. I forgot you could do that. <laughs> I totally forgot that you could do that shit. Start spamming here. There's enough of them that we'll just hit them, right? Alright, so note to self, be careful of your own flame. They pretty much were uh, dropping rupees consistently there, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> um, can we go across this way? No. Wasn't sure if maybe the raft or something could uh, get you across the area, but obviously... Not the case. Alright, we're just gonna stand over here and keep fucking shooting. Nice. We haven't gotten the, uh, the map piece yet, which is surprising. Missed out on the rupee. Yeah, these guys are strong as hell. Eh. There you go. Aha. Is this the thing that we would use to go get that other heart? I I believe so. Yeah, I I think so. I think that would be the uh, thing that we would use to go back and get that heart piece. Alright, still haven't found... ...our map piece, though. Which is... ...bits of... Aha! So I could use that, actually, to cut across that one area. But we will go here. Okay, well, we wasted a key. I think in order to get to this room, we gotta go back to that other room. That would make sense. Shit. There we go. 
Yeah, this one right here, right? Boop. Alright, good stuff. Oopsies. That's a bit weird. <laughs> and... We've been everywhere so far. So we just gotta continue north. Oh, that is kind of frustrating. You get stuck there with uh, that little thing. Yeah, just did it again. Gotta be careful of that, guys. Definitely eat some damage there that you might not want. Oh, shit! Guys, I don't think we're gonna get a bomb placement like we did last time. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not happening again, huh? We're just gonna spam through here. Yo, so that... I got really lucky on that boss, huh? That would have been a, uh... That was a, you know, that was a highlight of mine, I would say. That was certainly a highlight of mine. Um, right. Looks like you could blow up that wall as well. I'm very proud of that kill that I got on that dungeon boss now, now that I saw that. Walk into the waterfall. Okay. Oh, I forgot, guys. We don't have the fucking, uh... Eat some damage there. Anybody want to spare some hearts? Please? Oh, shoot! Alright, well, we are nearing... Uh, the boss arena pretty clearly. You know what, I do have that potion, right? And I could always uh, restock on potions as well. I do have enough rupees at this point. Ooh, I think it's boss time, people. Hmm. What should we use, though, is the question. You know what I'm saying? Should we use the bombs? Should we just slash with the sword? Probably just slash with the sword, right? But I will keep- I'll actually keep this equipped. And we'll just use our sword. That's what we call mash the button, we have a big health pool, and <laughs> we have a potion that we could use if need be. That's all that was, people, but awesome stuff. The fourth dungeon is in the books. And now I think we can go back and get another heart piece before going to uh, the fifth dungeon. I'm pretty excited about that. Let's take care of this enemy. Or maybe, yeah, you know what? I'll show you guys, because we haven't killed one yet, really, I don't think. So, that's funny, because usually when those enemies are on the screen, I feel like all they do is fly. And right there, they decided, eh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna land and take my time. Alright, so I believe we're probably going to go back and get the next heart piece, and then on to the uh, next dungeon. Alright, on to do some looting. Okay, wow. <laughs> Almost plopped me uh, right into where I did not want to be whatsoever. Um, but we're going to go get that other heart piece. Uh, amongst a few other things, actually, at this point. Some pretty cool stuff coming up. Let's hope, let's hope I don't fuck it up too much. Wow. Tons of hearts and fairies, huh? Oh, 
I will gladly take all the rupees, because you never know. Let's also switch to a different item so we don't accidentally use our potion. Oh, shit. Drop a heart? Anybody? No? Fine. I see how it is. There we go. <clears throat> Take that. Alright, let's go get that friggin' heart piece. What the fuck, dude? I was stuck. It probably, like, obviously saw me not move. That was really weird. For some reason, I wasn't able to move. I don't know if that was my controller or some kind of weird game glitch in terms of where I was on the screen, but... Very odd. Alright, we got our next heart piece. Good shit. So, the next stop is going to be a power bracelet, and ugh, also a different sword. Whoa. And if I remember correctly, I think, uh, yeah, this is, right? Yep. There's one of the dungeons is like a maze. One of those like repeating screens in order to get to it. Nintendo loved doing that shit. It's like if you don't go the, the right path, it just keeps repeating. Uh, this game is one that I could think of, um, obviously. Mario with, uh, Bowser's Castle and stuff. And I know it wasn't a Nintendo game per se, but, oh, shit. There was the Labyrinth area in, uh, Uninvited. If I remember correctly, there was a section that was a constant loop, unless you went the, the real correct way through, if you will. Yeah, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need to do that right now. Boop, boop. Oh, shit. See, the only good thing about getting hit by those guys is if you spam your sword, a lot of them just, like, spawn directly on top of you anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I fucking hate these guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, get over here. I think this is where I wanted to go, right? Um, maybe it wasn't. No, it was. We're good. Because uh, we weren't able to get over there before because we didn't have the... Yep, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Now, the question is... Oh no, we were able to get over here before. That was just kind of like a shortcut, I guess. Alright, so I think what we need is in one of these guys. <laughs> Which one, though, is... Oh my god, dude. I fucking hate that. How do you, like, touch them without touching them? I guess just like that. Hmm... Maybe I'm wrong. I could have sworn that one of these guys is holding the secret. If you would drop a heart too, that'd be awesome. There we are. And yep, that is a, a, a passive item, if you will. I believe this is the power bracelet, which will now allow us to go get a special sword that I'm pretty sure that we weren't able to get uh, without that, because it allows us to move. Uh, this is not where I want to go. I think I want to go over he here. Are you guys, I was going to say, you're really not dropping anything. It's kind of fucked up. All right. So we are now in the graveyard, as you can see. Man, 
And I gotta remember where... Oh, okay, so touching the gra <laughs> the graves spawns ghosts. One of these graves holds our ticket to the key. Or not the key, the sword, excuse me. I guess you could say holds our key to the sword, right? Wow, found it right away, perfect. We only took one erroneous um, venture into Ghost City. All right, so now we have a new sword, which is, uh, if I remember correctly, it's two times more powerful uh, than the one that we previously had. And I don't think, I think we go over to that one weird screen. Ooh, nice. You guys remember this screen over here? This, wait, is this the one I'm thinking of? Uh, I don't remember. Yes, this one. I feel like we go here. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, and as you can see, these guys are now dying with one hit. They were taking two before. Ugh, I think that the power... Yes. Take any road you want. Okay. Alright. Now I think... Let's get the fuck out of here real quick, because I don't want to, uh... Okay, so we're back over here now. Hmm. So that was just like a warp? I don't think I'm anywhere special. Maybe I took the wrong... <laughs> Maybe I took the wrong warp. Huh. You know what? I think I might have. I think that I might have. Which is, uh... Bad news bears. So do we need to go back to... The warp guy, maybe? Um... Hmm... I don't know. I don't know the answer to that one. So I'm trying to think, because I think that the... The dungeon that we need to get to... Is up top somewhere? But I'm fairly certain that you have to go through a maze to get there, don't you? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Well, let's just start searching. Uh, I don't need anything here. Although, I wonder if that shield is an upgrade, because I think it was more expensive, uh than the shield that I bought previously. Could be wrong, though. Now let's go over here. Guess we'll go up. I know that... Okay. This is it. This is it. Alright. I think you just keep walking up. <laughs> Famous last words, right? There we go. <laughs> I was starting to get a little concerned, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, cool. On into the next uh, dungeon. Uh, this one is dubbed the Lizard. How about that? Definitely uh, got lizard colors. Oh shit, Pole's voice! Holy hell, dude. Could you imagine fighting these guys without a... This sword? So, interesting factoid about Pole's voice. I'm sure people know this by now that aren't Zelda fans, but... If you were to play Zelda on the Famicom, the second controller, if I remember correctly... I don't play much Famicom, as you can clearly tell by the fact that I, uh... didn't know which controller, but I think it is the second controller. If you yell into it, or basically speak into the microphone, there's a microphone on the controller, the Pole's voice apparently all die. That's funny. The Dig Dogger hates certain kind of sound. Wait a minute. Isn't... Are we talking about the Pole's voice? Aren't they called Pole's voice? Or is there a... Are we referring to... Like, do we get a flute or something for Dig Dogger? 
I can't remember everything, guys. I'm a Zelda noob. What do you want from me? Ooh, I will uh, gladly take that. Off your hands, good sir. Ooh, can I cut over this? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I should be able to. Yes. I just wasn't quite sure with uh, the whole, like, pseudo lava aspect going on there. Oh, goodness gracious. You got a lot of bomb eaters over here, huh? Oh, well, we already got the... That's a weird-shaped lizard. I don't know if I'd call this the lizard, but whatever. Um, alright. Do we have to kill the fucking Dodongos? It's like a lot of bombs, is it not? Or are they weaker than... Oops, that's not the right thing. Sorry! Eat it! So, we better get something good, because we're like, out of bombs. <laughs> uh, come on. Eat it! Give me some bombs. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Boop. I feel like what's his face from Dragon Ball Z every time I get the uh, the stopwatch. Doria, time freeze, right? <clears throat> oh, hey, more bombs, good stuff. Thank you, game, much appreciated. Because if I had to leave the dungeon, because I had to feed all those dudes bombs, I'd have been pretty pissed. Hey, right, let's blow up this wall. Can't blow it up with a boomerang though. Come on, Link. Amateur hour. Oh shit. Literally fucking Tower of Juaga. Am I right? Haha! Fucker got me. Alright, what do we have here? I always really liked these segments of the dungeons. I just thought they were... Pretty cool. Where the fuck did I just... I just warped through a bunch of shit? Oh my god, did I ever. Well, I want to explore more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and explore. Cause I like picking up keys and shit. Okay, uh, looks like we could blow up multiple. Just kidding. I wonder if we legitimately like warp warped just now. Possible. I bet you'd like to have more bombs. Oh, dude, I don't know. Do I want more bombs? Do I? That's a lot of money for bombs. For three bombs. I think I'm going to pass for now, but I will... I guess keep that in mind in case something... does go awry in my journey. Um, yeah, I think I warped past a bunch of shit, guys. Because... Yeah. So I might warp back, question mark. I think that's uh 
I definitely skipped like three or four blocks. And I mean, if there's keys and bombs and shit, then, you know, I'd rather get all that, obviously. Hopefully these enemies don't respawn, but you never know. Why isn't the door open? Do I, did I just like screw myself out of something? Am I stupid? Oh, never mind. I am stupid. You can blow this up. There we go. Alright, I've already been over there. I have not been... Oh my god, more fucking Dodongos? Are you kidding? Alright, let's light our candle. Alright, we have not been here before, I don't think. But I also have some of the worst memory in the world, so... Entirely possible. Hey, let's go. Uh, we have also been over to the left, but we haven't been north. So we are going to have to work our way back, I think, towards... Ah, eh, shit. Oh my god, I'm stuck, dude. Fuck me. That's stupid. Well, at least we got that. At least we got that. The question is, are we actually going to get anything here? Or are we just, like, getting fucked up for that key? Not that I don't want the key. It's just, like, I would really appreciate it if we got some health back. It doesn't look like we are. I mean, we could go over there, I guess. Right? <clears throat> Oh my god, that was a fucking horrible move. <laughs> that was a terrible move. Well, we got a key, so that's a positive, I suppose. Um, where haven't we gone yet? We got... Okay, so there's a couple... Spots that we haven't gone yet to the left, but... Correct me if I'm wrong... I didn't finish out the top area either. So I might want to go all the way back. Right? Yeah, I didn't finish out the top, dude. And we are... basically right next to the boss arena now. Well, it's time to backtrack, people. I am so sorry. But it is what it is. We need to go all the way back down and use our warp functionality. There we go again, being stupid. Ooh, I will take that. Do you have any for me? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Okay, I'll take that. And we did max out our bombs again too, so we definitely don't need to buy any. And I'm not dodongoing if I don't have to? Can I still get to the warp without dodongo, or... Is that, uh, not accurate? Was the warp area... Oh, I think we're good. Glad to get my projectile back. Oh shit, is the warp area connected to Dodongo? No, it's right here, okay. 
You guys again? Are you kidding? It's kind of annoying. Well, shit. <laughs> that was disastrous, people. I, I sure hope that that literal one block that I'm trying to go back for is worth it. Otherwise, it's uh, bad news bears. Alright, this was it. So, let's see. <laughs> oh no, more of these fools. I think I'm gonna uh, try to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Shit. I wanted to bomb you. Oh well. Hey, didn't we determine that the bombs do, like, nothing to these guys? I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. Probably not. Alright, where does this take us? Oh, the flute! You know what? Yeah, I guess we did need to come here because I think that you need to play the flute in order to beat this boss, right? Or at least one of the upcoming ones. So I'm glad that I backtracked that whole way. <laughs> uh, needed to be done. Would be nice if I had full health as I get hit by a bat, of all things. Dude, this fucking bat's trolling. Alright, let's work our way back up, guys. Should get my handle back out. I don't know how that dude didn't hit me. I'm trying to get some hearts here. Doesn't seem to be in the cards for me. That's right, that is a dead indo. Oop. I mean, I'll take the root. Oh, I maxed out at 255, that's right. So you know what? I won't take the fucking rupees, dude. I want hearts. Nothing more. Thank you. I don't want fucking bombs. I don't want that shit either. Your boy needs hearts. Please. Uh-oh, stuck. There we go. And maybe we won't get hit on the way to the boss. Please? Okay, almost there, almost there. Better not get hit now, considering there's a fucking fairy on the screen the whole time. Uh, Alright, so what do you think? Do you think we need to probably use our whistle on this boss? I'm assuming that we most likely need to. Uh, I don't know what the boss's name is though. You know? But, let's just do it preemptively, because I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like it's a warp whistle from fucking Super Mario or some shit, right? 
okay. Oh my god, it plays the same- it played the same fucking thing. That's so funny that I just said that. I forgot about that, dude. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> it's not like it's a warp whistle from uh, Super Mario and then all of a sudden you get the dee 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 That is funny. Pretty interesting dungeon. Um, I kind of fucked up. I made that dungeon a lot longer than it needed to be by my backtracking. It was completely pointless. But uh, that's another one in the books, guys. That is another one in the books. On to dungeon six. So just a quick note real quick. I'm actually going to save the game because I haven't saved it in a while which will warp me back to the uh, title screen with less health, but uh, I'm also like right next to the engine of the, uh, the engine. <laughs> the entrance of the next dungeon if I do that. So I'm going to do that. I wanted to uh, actually communicate it before I did it so you're not like, what the fuck just happened? Uh, so we might need to grind for some hearts or some fairies, but we're gonna put ourselves right next to where we need to be and we're gonna ensure that we have it saved. All right, we just did our save and warp essentially back to the beginning. Because it'll put us uh, at a place where we're able to warp almost directly to the next dungeon. Um, I might have to buy another potion. I'm gonna see if I can just get a fairy somehow really, really quick. And if I can, great. If not, I'm gonna use a potion. And worst case scenario, I maxed out my, my rupees so I could just go buy another one nearby. So that's always good. Uh, but let's see if we can't get a fairy. Again, whenever I need them, they'll never appear. You know what I mean? Alright, here's our last chance to get a fairy, otherwise we're probably just gonna use the potion. We don't need rupees. No thank you. Boop, and boop. Nope! Alright, well, we could use our power bracelet to push that. We have another warp area. This time we're gonna take the middle warp, which is gonna bring us up here. Ooh. And, um, I believe we can get ourselves a potion. Isn't it here? All right, we're gonna do some aimless uh, wall bombing. We'll try, try to place it in the middle. Yep, and I believe that this is a potion. Okay. I almost want to test to see if the blue just refills me right away, but we're going to... Okay, so... Yeah, I think the blue potion refills you right away. The red is two usages, which I did know. So that was a waste. <laughs> that was a waste, but you know what? We're back to full health, so I can't complain. All right. Quickly now, on to... The next dungeon. This one's titled The Dragon. By the way, guys, I was wrong earlier, pretty clearly. This is it. Mm-hmm. Remember how I said it was that kind of, like, gold, yellowish color? We're going to be encountering some of the most annoying enemies in the Zelda franchise. The Wizrobes. The Wizrobes. Hate them. There they are. Dude, it's fucking crazy now that I'm replaying through Zelda, because, you know, this isn't one of my favorite games, so it's not always stuck in my head. When I read the stuff about, again, how the Tower of Druaga was very much an inspiration for Zelda, it's so evident on so many levels. On so many levels. Like, the Wizrobe enemies, they're fucking annoying as fuck in this game, and then guess what? The first truly annoying-ass enemy in the Tower of Druaga are wizards that shoot projectiles and kind of spawn all over the place. I just think it's it's pretty fucking funny, honestly. It's the same shit. It's the same shit, dude. <laughs> oh man, that is some funny stuff though, I will say. It's literally the same stuff. Luckily, it's actually easier to kill them in Zelda if you have the, uh, the right equipment. Because you can just tank everything almost immediately if you get the magical shield, right? <clears throat> but yeah, it made me laugh, man. Aim at the eyes of Goma. Thank you, sir. Will do. Alright, let's get this dungeon really started then, shall we? Alright. Whoa. 
Luckily, you know, with our current setup, we could pretty much just face tank, which is pretty sick. Obviously, it'd be a lot more difficult if you did not have the shield or if you didn't have one of the better swords. Um, but you know what we do, so... <laughs> oh, precarious. Whoa! And that's what we wanted, people. Ooh, I almost got hung up on the door there. Alright. Oh, shoot. Really now? Huh? Oh, I was gonna say. Thought I killed everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. The annoyance factor is hitting a pace. Oof. Man, this gets rough quick. Fuck those guys in particular, honestly. They are... the worst. Alright. Yeah, I feel like we could blow up this wall over here. I feel like we can... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my god, no, not again. Back out. Back the fuck out, people. Ugh. We're gonna have to use a potion, aren't we? Think we're gonna get lucky enough to just fucking... get lucky? Holy fucking shit. Yo, these guys suck! Well, thank you for the heart, sir. Very gracious. Oof. You wouldn't mind, uh, dropping another heart, would you? Please? <clears throat> yeah, I don't think we went down here yet, right? Back with these guys. Ooh, we can insta kill them now, huh? That's cool. That is pretty cool. Wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. I fucking hate these guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't attack. Oh no! Oh! Yeah, we might be popping a potion before the uh, for the boss. You know, that's, that's nothing wrong with that, right? That's what they're here for. Excuse me. That's what they're there for. That is what they're there for. I'm like awful, dude. Oh, every fucking game I play, I just hoard all my goddamn consumables. Uh. Where the fuck? Oh, it was another warp spot, huh? Huh. Now I gotta figure out if that's where I wanted to go or not. I don't necessarily know if that is where I wanted to go. But let's continue on here and try to... Key, so that's good. I would really appreciate the the map one of these days. Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh.
Y'all want to drop some hearts, or are you an anti-heart club? So I didn't know that you could hit them when they're teleporting. That actually makes, I wouldn't say it makes things easy, obviously, but it makes things a little bit more bearable. You can get a cheap hit in here and there. Oh, that's, that was awful. Did you see that hit? Did you guys see that shit? That was some garbaggio right there. Um, well, it's pretty clear that the boss is directly ahead of me and I have not explored the dungeon, so I'm, oh shit, I almost died. Wow, okay. It is time. Boop. That was a uh, pretty big misplay on my part right there. So, this room with the four thingies, uh, that's clearly where the boss is. But, plenty of stuff gone unexplored. Oh my god! Oh no, guys. I just accident- Oh my fucking Jesus. I accidentally used my potion. <laughs> I accidentally used my fucking potion, dude. I thought I had the fucking candle equipped. I am an idiot. Well, things just got a lot more difficult. Things just got a lot more difficult. I no longer have a potion to heal myself. Oh, this is no good. We might end up having to redo the dungeon because of that. A truly terrible misclick on my part. Truly terrible. Alright, so now we are back over there, and that's where we were before. Oh, I'm so pissed at myself for that, guys. I am so mad. That would have made, like, literally, like, the whole thing just a piece of cake. A cinch. Instead, I just bamboozled myself, truly. I truly did. Looks like we can burst through the wall over there, but... Well, that was not good. Dude, fuck this guy. Oh, I'm so mad right now. Salty as fuck. Let's hope that we could somehow beat this boss. You know, that's really... All boils down to now. Well, at least we got that. Alright. Um, where am I? I'm right there, so I can go up. Wait a second. Um, one, two, three. Okay, so I haven't gone to the left. I can go up. Yeah. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no. Fucking shit. Of course. Ooh. I mean, that's helpful. That is helpful. What do we got down here? Ooh. A blue magic wand, huh? Please don't die against this boss. Please. Alright, we are... Here. Alright, well, pretty clearly... There's extra paths this way. Let me re-equip this. Still mad at myself, by the way. Still mad. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. If y'all want to give me a heart or two, I mean, I'm okay with it. I can get down on that. Oop. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> there are secrets where fairies don't live. I actually have no fucking clue what that means. <laughs> 
There are secrets where fairies don't live. Okay. I don't know what that means. Oh, great. Exactly where I want to be, guys. Oh, now I can't even hit anything. It's wonderful. Oh, no. Get off. That's all I get? That's all I get for exploring this shit, guys. That's it. Well, I guess I haven't been over here yet. Allegedly. We have another key. I guess that's a good thing. I'll just stand at attention here. Um, where else haven't we been? Eat it. Um, so I think we've been basically everywhere except one, one. Yeah, except uh, the warp spot to get to the boss, and another area over to the left. But we got, we have everything we need though. We got the item from the dungeon. We got the compass and the map, and I'm trying to, like, greatly conserve my health. So I think that uh, the best thing to do would be uh, to try and go back to the warp, which I think was down this way. Right? I think we're close-ish. Oh my god, get me out of here, dude. Get me the fuck out. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely gotta, uh, go through this fucking garbage again. That's no good. I said it before and I'll say it again, guys. I am very fucking pissed at myself for accidentally using that goddamn potion, because I think it's gonna end up fucking me. We do have a high health pool, though. But, like... Ah, oh, shit. That's not where the warp was. Which one was the warp? We have to be close-ish, don't we? You know what? I think the warp was all the way at the top. Because I don't think it was any, uh... Yeah, I think it was at the top. Oh, that's fucking wonderful. Remember when I accidentally st <laughs> stumbled into a mini boss room when I'm trying to conserve my fucking health? That's great. Yeah, it's just fucking wonderful, guys. Oh, thanks game. Not only did... <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm hanging right now. Not only did I not fucking... Oh my god, dude. We're not gonna get through this dungeon. Not a chance in hell. Not a chance. We need to get some massive heart drops and we ain't getting shit. Wow, one heart. Gracious of you. Oh, I was kind of hoping that that boss would have dropped a fucking, you know, like a fairy or something. Throw your boy a little bit of a bone here. Okay, now I'm officially confused. That was where the... F <laughs> oh, I am getting flustered. Okay. Where is the fucking warp? Honestly, I gotta get back to the fucking warp. I'm dying right now. So, one below... 
to the right was that area with the quote unquote secrets. I don't need to go anywhere up where I am right now. The top uh, seven blocks that I'm at are not where I need to go. What? <sighs> Maybe, I think it was, you see that one tile that's like off in the center? I think maybe that's where I need to go. Oh my god. Let's just fucking get out of here, please. Yo, it's a double-edged sword. Those guys drop hearts, but they're just not what I want to be- Oh my god, I fucking wa- Oh. My god. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think the warp was here. Yeah, it was. Oh my goodness. This was a uh, debacle of a dungeon. Truthfully. Debacle. But, the good news is, is we are now back uh, generally where we need to be. I'd appreciate it <sighs> if you guys would fucking all right the boss is up ahead Ooh, I'm scared I'm scared I'm scared and just to confirm I do not have yes I only have the note that allows me to buy the potions but I don't have the actual potion okay well we need to uh, hit the eyes and I believe that we use our arrows, right? Because I've played a few Zelda games before, guys, and I'm pretty sure that the dude with the eye just hit the arrow. <laughs> Remember that time that I was like shitting my pants because I didn't <laughs> have a fucking potion and Goma literally died with uh, with one arrow. I thought it would be a couple arrows, but now it's just one. Oh, all right, that is our sixth Triforce piece. We have two more remaining. That was an interesting dungeon. The wizard robes could literally eat my ass raw. I hate them. But um, this journey does not stop people. Absolutely not. Onward and upward to dungeon number seven. All right, and we're actually gonna do another save out warp to get back towards the beginning of the game because it brings us in a better position uh, to where we need to be to not only get to the next dungeon, but to get a potion and also pick up the bait, which we passed up on earlier. All right, back at the beginning here. Let's head up a little bit to uh, replenish our stocks, so to speak. Still relatively good on um, rupees. Oh, hey. I mean, I'll take it along the way, but I'm still uh, gonna want to restock here, which I will. We're gonna buy a blue. Oop. Oh, sh shoot. Okay, well, I can't. Oh, did I fuck up? Hold on. Did I fuck up, guys? Can I go back in and buy another one? Because if not, technically, then yes, I fucked up. <laughs> I can, okay, good. Good, good, good. I wanted to replenish myself and then buy this one. And let's make sure that we don't fucking do some dumb shit this time, okay? That's literally it. We just need to not do dumb shit. And we'll be totally fine. Alright. Oof, almost gets hit right away as soon as they say not to do dumb shit. But we need to work our way up here to go get a piece of bait uh, because this dungeon how do you pronounce it? Gor Goria? Goria? There's a, there's a hungry boy this is not the right guy there's a hungry boy that needs a piece of meat um, yes 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 the secret shop which is not there apparently it's fine it's fine. It's fine. There you are. Give me a... There we go. 
This is really expensive, isn't it? All right, cool. We got the bait, which allows us to progress through the next dungeon, and now we need to get to the next dungeon. Which, by the way, guys, do you remember? Oof, when I was like, what does that mean? The guy was talking about uh, where fairies don't live. Well, I don't think that's where I wanted to go. I wanted to go down here, right? Remember the two pond areas? Uh, the one, oops. Now nah, I wanna go over here. The one has a fairy pond, right? And then the other one's like an empty pond. I think this is the one I need to go to. The other one uh, over to the right has a fairy in it, and this one has nothing, right? So you'll sit there and probably think that you have to maybe burn the bushes down or whatever, but nope. We're gonna be utilizing a item that we recently got. <clears throat> the flute! And all of a sudden, things decided to dry out, which is wonderful. Guys, now we can get into Dungeon 7, which is dubbed the demon, surprisingly. Isn't that a little weird? I, w I wouldn't say that this thing is, uh... I mean, I guess it's demon colored, right? That's probably what they're going with. Either way. It's a pretty big dungeon from what I remember. Um, I think there's lots of, like, optional shit, but... You know me. I'm gonna do it. Even when I don't mean to. <laughs> like in that last dungeon when I accidentally stepped into, uh... The room with the... Basically pseudo boss reskin or whatever you want to call it. Eh, we're gonna need our candle equipped. Are you giving me anything if I kill you? Nothing at all? Be that way. Oh, shoot. Yo, they, uh, hit hard, huh? Still probably better than fighting whiz robes, though, I will say. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. There's a secret in the tip of the nose. Noted, my good man. Oh, this guy again. Oh shit, it insta-killed him this time? Okay. Oh no, never mind. It was a uh, graphical glitch. I was like, what? Fucking insta-killed him. Ugh. It's tough to hit. There we go. We got a, a skeleton key. <laughs> anyway. I'm surprised I didn't make that joke earlier, to be completely honest with you. Oh shit, we do need to pick up rupees. My bad. I forgot that we are no longer high roller rupee men after buying all those fucking potions and shit. Let's take a look at our map here. Okay, so we've explored uh, a lot of this. So yeah, we have to go back to the left now. Have to go back to the left. leave you on the board just in case I get hit, right? As well as the heart. Oh my god, fucking fairies and shit everywhere, dude. Let's go buck wild. Whoa. Uh, so that is the entrance of the dungeon, so that means that I have to blow up some walls. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that would make sense. They literally put bombs there, didn't they? Let's see. One. And two. 
Ooh. Lots of paths. Ooh, goodness. More bombs, huh? Well, that sucked. Aren't there very similar enemies in Star Tropics? I feel like the snakes in Star Tropics do the exact same thing. Well, clearly, we know where they got their inspiration from, but... I thought that was just generally funny to note. Oh, fucking the dongos, dude. Well, actually, I don't need to kill you, do I? I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't think so. Oof. Pretty slick, I must say. Alright, let's go this way first. So I want to make sure that I, I don't accidentally freaking have... Oh, the compass, nice. I don't want to accidentally have the, uh, the potions equipped anymore. <laughs> Not about that life. Alright, looks like we've explored pretty much everything. We have to go north now. Let's do that. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how I didn't get hit by any of that, by the way. I am a wizard. Nice. Oh. You know, if you want to give me the map piece, that'd be- oh my god, this dude again? Them, huh? Okay, just wanted to make sure. Will I even get anything good from here is the question. The answer, my friend, is no. <laughs> Um, okay. Let's lay some bombs. Nothing there. Oh, this guy. Oh my god, how did I get hit? Terrible. Another key. I mean, could be worse, I suppose. Could be worse. go here. Let's just check our map real quick. How did I not hit anybody yet? Is the question. Nice. Burp, burp. Okay. And to my knowledge, I think we've pretty much checked everything. There was a... Oh, there it is. The Hungry Man. Do you leave forever? Okay, good. I wanted to make sure in case I do decide to backtrack that I don't, like, get fucked and have to leave the fucking dungeon in order to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go buy some more bait. Oh, we're gonna need candle here. I mean, we do have that, though. So that's cool. Whoa. Well, this is a shitty room. Big old shitty room. I'm just trying to kill these guys uh, to get some freaking health, but they're not obliging. Okay, what was that weird erratic pattern? 
Well, we did get some health, but we also got hit before we did it, so... Okay. Nice. Uh-oh, it's time to go buck wild, people. We got a fairy in the building. Oh, and I accidentally collect the fairy, then I get hit again! Alright. Uh, nothing there? Sure. Okay, we got a heart on the board. Multiple hearts. Okay, so it looks like... Oh my god, I was looking at the wrong spot on the map, by the way. <laughs> I was looking at the uh, red blinking thing instead of the white thing. I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. And that's why. Alright, so we have to do some bombages here. One right there. Switch back to this. Wait, what? Hold up, guys. Hold up. Oh my god, I, got, I did it again. I'm an idiot. I keep, <laughs> I keep looking at the fucking red thing. That is the Triforce, my man. Get it together, Cody. How come that didn't blow up? Huh. Maybe I misstepped somewhere along the way. Okay. Oh, you know what? Probably a secret. Yep. There didn't appear to be any other uh, correct path, so... Oh, that's nice. So then I could presumably blow this up as well. Indeed. Indeed I can. And we are... Back over here. So let me look at my map and compare. Um, one over... Down. So we didn't go... To the... Huh. I think we can go to the right? Is that accurate? Oops. I believe we can go to the right. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we should be able to blow this up. It's gotta be a secret. Yeah, okay. There we are. We're making moves. Even if it seems like I'm not. <clears throat> uh-huh. Wait, what? <laughs> Is this a downgrade? Is this candle an upgrade or a downgrade? I feel like it... Well, it's in the, a late dungeon, right? So it's, it's probably... An upgrade, but I, I feel like... Isn't blue better than red? I would have thought. Probably not. I don't know. Anyway, the fact that I could have bought, you know, and received uh, the candle that I had when I did presumably means that that one's better. I'm going to assume what it does is it probably allows me for uh, multiple usages of uh, my candle, because currently... Currently, you can't. You know? You can only use it once. YOLO, as they say. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice, guys. That's all you give me? Really? Um... Okay. So that's interesting, huh? So we can go north. 
Another one of these fucking douches. Hell yeah, brother. Boop. What? Really? Boop. Okay, that's fine. So pretty much all that did was just give me some bombs. I feel like we're not gonna be able to blow through that, or maybe we need to. Yo, are you kidding? Another one of these dudes? Another one? Come on now. Well, somehow we managed to uh, damage tank through that horribly. But we did do it. Fucking Dodongos? Is that why you were giving me those fucking, uh... The goddamn, um... The bombs? When I was like, why are we getting bombs this late in the dungeon? Because of Mr. Dodongs? Alright, well I guess I probably have to fucking kill them, do I not? I mean, I don't know how to get through that one door at this point, so... And I have just enough if I don't flub this up, which I gotta be very fucking careful that I don't. I didn't like that positioning. I want him walking towards me. Alright. Okay. So we got more bombs, is that it? I guess we could probably blow through this wall. Was that a waste of time, question mark? I think it was. <laughs> I think it was a waste of time, but it's okay. What? The? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Guys! Oh, I got carried to the eye. <laughs> Zelda fucking trolling! Oh my goodness! Oh my! Me! Oh my! Oh my! Is all I gotta say about that. We got trolled. I think everybody gets. Wait a minute. Oh no, I didn't go in here, right? Yeah, 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 this is the Dodongo room. I don't need to go in here. I don't think so, anyway. Yeah, I'm like, not trying to do stuff right now. <laughs> I'm trying to go as quickly as possible off of my memory, which is freaking terrible at this point. <clears throat> This is not where I need to go. Alright. That's where the hungry dude was, but we no longer have to worry about his hungry ass. Uh, we don't even need to worry about this, do we? I don't think so. It's all good. Okay. And I don't need to go through here. Alright, it wasn't too much of a setback, I suppose, guys. So... All good. Just kind of clearing them out if I can here. Really? Y'all couldn't drop another heart for me? That's heartless. Get it? Alright, that guy didn't respond at least, so that's positive. Let's try not to get grabbed as soon as we enter the fucking room here, right? How about that? Where the fuck do we go?
I think that there is a... Oh my god, I'm about to get fucking grabbed. Wow, this room is a troll, my man. Absolute troll. Oh my goodness, what do I do? How do I get through here? There's, I'm missing something, clearly. Don't you have to push one of these blocks? Am I in the right room? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I have to push one of the blocks. Maybe I have to play, like, the flute or something? Like, I guess that could be a possibility, but... I'm, like, scared that I'm gonna get fucking grabbed, man. I am scared. Scared, scared, scared. Um, alright, let's just try killing the fucking enemies, then. <sighs> Yo, I got saved by iframes there, I think. There's a secret in here. This is the tip of the nose, and there's nowhere else to go in this dungeon. There we go. I knew that there was some shit in here. I didn't know we actually had to, uh, fucking hit those things though, man. That is a scary room. That is a scary fucking room. Oh! Can I have a... One health, please? No? You can't even give me a health, good sir. Um... Alright, well... We are... Oh, there we go! Yeah! Alright, I see, I see, I see. So this has to be a fake wall. Alright, people. Let's go. Let's do the damn thing. And we have... The same guy from the first dungeon? The fuck? <laughs> and that was easy. Cool. Well, that dungeon was, uh, not too bad. I could have saved myself a few minutes had I not got grabbed by that fucking hand, but... You know. It is what it is. So... At the end of the day, not too bad, overall. Um, let me think. Probably gonna want to do another, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a uh, another save and a reset. I like just starting at the beginning, you know what I mean? And then typically, along the way, like I said, you either find fairies or you have the ability to get some more uh, potions. So you don't have to worry about the fact that you lose all your health. And just in case of something like a power outage, it's nice to have that save on the board. So let's save up and take on the final dungeon. All right, off to dungeon eight, but foist. We're gonna equip this, because we're gonna do the old uh, stop off and get potion refills as we go. Which, actually, I'm almost vomiting in my mouth there as I burp. <laughs> Disgusting. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I need to probably pick up some more roops, so I will attempt to do so along the way. Burp. Oh, maybe I won't even need to. Give me another fairy or two, and we'll uh, we'll get the damn thing. We'll get it going, huh? All right. Oh shoot! Eh. Come on. Ah, oh, I can't reach them with my fucking sword. God damn it. Wow, I could be refilling my hearts here if I freaking didn't suck. All right. All right, let's go up here. Up again, I believe. And isn't there, uh, yeah, there's the, um... Yeah, I think there's a hidden potion thing over here. And I should be able to, uh, get this done now. Oops, that is not... Not this thing. 
There we are. Okay. So let's... Uh, yeah, I still don't know. So if I buy this, does it refill? It doesn't. I made the same mistake twice, did I not? Yeah. It didn't refill shit. So definitely just wasted some money. It's okay. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I just have no idea how to manage my money in this game. <laughs> I, you know what? If you're looking for a good uh, rupee investor, I am not your man. Okay? It's not me. Because I do things all the time that are incorrect. And I do apologize for that. <clears throat> um, let me see. I think I need to go... Ooh, I don't know how I avoided that. I think I need to go down here. Right? Oop. This looks like a very suspicious bush, does it not? Something tells me I might be able to... Dude, why? I swear on my light. Oh, that's why, okay. You have to press, uh... Okay, I see what's going on. I accidentally keep selecting that thing all the time. Alright, here we go. Perfect. It's, uh, dungeon time, people. Let me get a swig of my Coke Zero. So I think... Are we done? What would... Do you remember what went in that item slot? I don't remember. Anyway, I was gonna say, I think we might be done collecting stuff, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> Alright, well, we got a key there, so that's good. <clears throat> oh, no, not you. <laughs> you know what? That wasn't too bad. Nothing will ever replace that first one. I might have to make a YouTube short of that. But... That was just dumb luck when that happened, honestly. I have no explanation for that one. Alright, what do we got? Okay, we have a, uh, a book that sort of looks like a demonic Game Boy. I don't even remember what this is. I'm gonna assume that we get a... Oh my god, I got hit by a fucking... Alright, I'm okay. I'm fine right now that I lost my projectile due to a fucking bat, but we're doing alright. Alright, looks like we've explored the bottom here. I don't remember if I mentioned it, but this dungeon's referred to as the lion. How about that? Um, should I? Probably should, right? Huh. I did not expect my first bomb to blow something up there, in the wall, but uh, it happened, and here we are. Okay, this is not a fun room. Whatsoever. I'm gonna try to get the fuck out of here really quickly. Speaking of not fun rooms... <laughs> this one as well. With uh, fucking poles everywhere. Would be nice if I had the uh, Famicom version uh, being recorded right now, so I could just fucking yell into my microphone and have them be dead. Ooh. Y'all got anything else for me? I'll take whatever, but... No? That's it. Okay. Oh my god, can I get through a door? The real boss. <clears throat> Alright, well, you know what? I just gotta accept that this is gonna be a pain in the old fucking balls. Bigger pain than I wanna admit. Okay. Nope. Yo, I keep pressing the wrong way! 
my goodness. Yo, this room sucks! Holy shit. Please. Thank you. Tell me- oh my god, am I gonna have to keep resetting that? I bet you I am. I fucking bet you I am, dude. You know what? Okay, I need a recount there. I don't understand why I got hit. I don't. I do not understand how I got hit or why I got hit, but I did. Could be worse. Alright, we'll just continue north, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god, another one of these fucking rooms. It's the fact that they take two hits from the sword, really, is what makes it uh, a little bit difficult. And obviously, <laughs> the projectiles, clearly, um, they don't make things easy. But I guess I would rather get hit by the projectiles than these guys, so I'm just going to focus on uh, avoiding these fellows. I wish they could be burned. Make things a little easier for me. Jesus. Eh. Was that good? No. Was it bad? Yeah, but, I mean, could be worse. my ability to attack. It's fine, though. Yeah, this dungeon's, uh... This dungeon's hard. This dungeon is freaking hard, man. Oh my goodness. Also, I'm shocked that I... Yeah, I was gonna say, did I not kill that guy yet? You know, honestly, I don't even know who the worst uh, enemy is at this point. Is it the uh, wizard robes, or is it fucking the blue guys, the blue, uh, the blue knights? Oh, this is a warp. I uh, I don't know about that right now. Uh, I hope I don't have to redo this shit again. I'm gonna be. He's salty, if and when I do. Alright, let's take a look at where we are on the map here. I think we'll go over here. Oh, this guy. Okie dokie. What? Yo, this dude's strong as hell. Did he, like, level up since, uh, we last met? Looks like it. Guess I'll keep this out. Did I go? I did not. <clears throat> I did not. I don't think Pole is gonna drop anything here, but well, they dropped a rupee. Ah, I guess that's better than nothing, right? All right, I've already been over there, so let's search over here. Mm, more of my best friends. See, I don't mind these guys because one hit, right? We got another key. Um. I wonder this It actually might be time to I don't know. <clears throat> Probably have to go back to that 
the warp, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Ah, uh, yes. A nice noob maneuver on my part there. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah, I didn't go up here yet. Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death. Are we talking about Death Mountain? <clears throat> Sounds like it. Okay, so, wow, the game is really making me do this again, right? Isn't this the room? This is the room that I already did before, but because there's a fucking warp here, they're making me do it again, which is bullshit. Am I thinking about the right? Wait, did I not come here yet? Maybe I didn't come here yet? <clears throat> hmm. Either way. I was gonna say, I feel like there's another way out, right? Oh, this man. Ooh. Come back to me! Ooh, I will gladly, gladly take that. But, I was gonna say, this is like basically the final dungeon before, you know, the real final dungeon, so I know that there's. Lots of secrets in here. <clears throat> you want to talk about slowdown? The way that they move literally just looks like slowdown. Because Link still moves fine. Which is funny. Also, I'm running really low on bombs, which is not good. Can I hit one of these this century, potentially? <laughs> there we go. Well, the good news is we're getting enough rupees to basically replenish our potions, hopefully. You want to uh, bounce around? Thank you. Hey, we got some bombs. Let's -a go. All right, where are we? We're up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just in a secret room. That's right. That's right. Well... Probably more secrets. Let's start bombing. Oh no. This dude. Oh my god. This dude with this shit. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is easy. This is super easy. <laughs> this is good for people that uh, play shoot 'em ups, right? And guess who doesn't play shoot 'em ups and who's really bad at them? Me! I am. I'm bad at them. Oh my god. This is exactly where I wanted to go. <sighs> oh, how did I manage? I could use a few hearts here. If you're listening. You're not listening. It's fine. You don't have to listen to me. I don't want to waste my potion yet, you know what I mean? I don't know what the boss holds, per se. But, uh, guess what? We're probably gonna have to fucking use him, so. Ooh, well that's good at least. Okay. Oh, almost got hit there. Short sorting. How do I fucking get this guy? How do I get him without a... Uh... Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, so... To my knowledge... I think I've done everything that I can other than go down here and go down the warp from earlier. I don't know, like... Oh, what is this, like a master key? Oh my god, I got hit by a fucking bat. I think this might be like a... 
Yeah, all right. My key says A. So I'm assuming that means I don't need to search for keys anymore, but... Eh, that's not, like, totally great because... <laughs> I like searching, like, everything in the dungeons, you know what I mean? But whatever. All right, so... I gotta get back down to uh, the warp area, which is actually, I think... Isn't it just, like, here? Yeah. Fuck me. Oh, this is no good, people. I might have to use a potion. Might have to use a potion, people. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Said, give me a heart. Please. Well, at least I don't have to do anything else here. I can just go right into the warp area. Okay, well, I think clearly I've done all that I could uh, do up until a certain point. Oh my, that's a lot of pulls, boys. What? All right, we're about to die, people. Gotta pop this potion. Hate to do it. Still got another, though. Oh, that was kind of fucked up. The bomb explosion and then the pole's voice knocking me back down below. Intense. Also, how many bombs do we have? We only have four. Like, not trying to... Oh, wow, it's been so long since I had this, though. Makes things a little bit easier. Boom. Boom. Suck my shit. Oh. Just realized we're pretty close to the boss. Hmm. We probably could actually blow right through. Either that or we go over to the left. Yikes! Whoops, did not want to do that. Okay. Kinda weird. Go ahead and grab that. Okay. Tenth enemy has the bomb. Yeah, I, I think I remember something about that. Can't you like manip RNG in this game to get like bombs to drop or something? It, isn't it the tenth enemy? I don't know. Either way, I believe it's boss time now, people. This is the final dungeon boss. Obviously, we still got Mount. Uh, Mount Doom. Right? Isn't it Mount Doom? Isn't that Lord of the Rings as well, actually? Alright. Let's go! Oh yeah, let's... Eh, now we're okay for now. Oh! It's this guy again! He's got a lot more heads, though! right. That was high level strategy there. <laughs> Alright, we got the last piece of the Triforce, baby. It is time to go into probably, I guess, the longest thing of the game, right? Because it's the end game. Get to slap Ganon around a little bit. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna do the old save and hop back and replenish our potions. Bloop. Oops, did not mean to use that. Wrong button. All right, <clears throat> we are back here and it's time to head up to Death Mountain. We're gonna need to uh, replenish 
not only our health, but our uh, potion storage. And then it's on to the final dungeon, people. We are ready to slap Ganon in the butt cheeks. Let's head on up. And I'm probably just gonna not bother at this point. Shouldn't really need many more rupees, I assume. If I remember correctly, I don't think I need to buy anything in the last dungeon, I hope. Ooh, that's okay. Don't make any false moves here, people. Whoa! Okay. Go up. Shit. I hate those rocks, dude. I feel like I never avoid them. <laughs> I feel like they just... They get me every time. Okay, wow, this is a... Uh, not a very fun area. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh no! <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're right in the way. And I don't think I could do anything to them, right? Because... Oh, I might... <laughs> so the thing that sucks here is, I mean, I could always use this potion, but if I get hit when I go into the dungeon, you know, I'm not gonna have my projectile. But I might not have any other, uh... yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'd rather not die. No big deal. No big deal. And there... I'm actually gonna leave these guys, some of them alive. Just in case. This is the potion salesman, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Saleswoman, excuse me. Alright, let's try not to get hit before we go into the dungeon. Let's get off the screen really fast. Thank you. And let's try to... Kill. And kill. I'm gonna leave that there. Boop. Alright. Oh, we only have two bombs. <laughs> so let's uh, hope that it's right here. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. It is that one. All right, it is final dungeon time, people. The music is more sinister. Serious business. I'm hoping we could find some bombs, but we'll see. All right, good thing I equipped my candle. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is a truly terrifying room. Fuck me, dude. Do I even need to do this? <laughs> this could be the most disappointing part of- Oh my god, I don't even think I needed to do that. Isn't that a thing? Oh my, I only have one bomb. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Alright, those look very similar to... Whatchamacall? The fire things, you know? Well, that sucked. I thought that, uh... It would have died on that one hit, but it didn't. Okay. Oopsies. Flying all over the place here. Well, it's definitely a lot better to fight these guys when you come out as opposed to Pole's voice fucking bouncing around. Also, I guess probably a good thing I got that infinite key, right? because now I don't have to worry about any uh, locked doors. This would be nice if I had, uh, whatchamacall, a bunch of bombs, but all good. 
Why did I switch to my boomerang? Kinda weird. Oh, I don't know what to do here. That sucked, I just got a freaking heart. <laughs> and then I wasted it, basically. Feels bad. And... Oh, great. Yes, I don't have any bombs, so... This is, uh... Certainly a thing. Oh, freaking forgot about this dude. What do I do? Oh, I have to kill the force field? Well, shit, I didn't realize that. I hope he gives me something. He gave me some bombs, so I guess that's... That's good, I suppose. Um... Well... Let's just kinda go forward. Oh, we need a lot of things right now, don't we? Go to the next room. Okay. Uh... Huh. I mean... Yeah, I could, I guess, but... I also... Don't want to? I don't think these guys drop anything, which is a bit disappointing. Do we even really need that anymore? There might be a salesman in here, I can't quite remember. Oh no, not another one of these guys. I wonder, can, do you think I can burn them? I mean, they're basically like little bugs, aren't they? You know? Oh my god, I died. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. That's whack as hell, dude. So what's up? We start at the beginning of the dungeon, but we don't have... <sighs> we don't have full... Son of a bitch. <clears throat> well, to be fair, I didn't really know what I was working with there, so... Can anybody drop a fucking rupee? Or is that like against the law? Oh yeah, I am in need of some rupees, people. Things are getting a little sketchy. Fuck me, dude. That sucks. Alright. I need rupees. And you're not gonna give it to me either. And neither are you. <sighs> well, dying there definitely was not ideal. Uh, we were clearly a little bit sloppy in that dungeon. It is what it is. Now we have to rupee farm. This is not the spot for it. Not only is it not the spot for it, there is a really no good rupee farming spot nearby. <laughs> Cause we need like, friggin- we need to start hitting these, uh... Multiple rupee drops, not just the singles. Well, that helped. Oh wait, was it 58? Do we have enough now? Let's see. Oop. 
Yeah, this last dungeon isn't nothing to fuck with, man. I'm telling you. Ain't easy. Wow, those were some good jukes, though. It was either 58 or 68. You know what, wasn't it 68? It was 68, wasn't it? Well... Kill everything on the way anyway. I actually don't want hearts now, game. Okay. As I freaking almost die again! Yikes. Oh my god, I am gonna die. Ah, it was 68. Ah, oh, I fucking knew it. I'm just in a- I'm in a bad mood right now, alright? It's my fucking dungeon expedition was god-awful, man. Fucking just terrible. What?! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, dude. Moot! My controller. Earlier when I got hit the first time, I had an attack queued and nothing happened. Well, that was disastrous. Can I leave the dungeon? I can, right? Will that respawn the enemies? Yeah. Alright, I could have been doing that the whole time. I need rupees, people. If, uh, if the fucking rupee farming expedition takes too long, I'll, I'll cut it out. <laughs> it's looking like we're just getting fucking hearts now all the time. Which is fine, because I'll actually need that before I go in, but... I need rupees, not hearts. I gotta replenish my fucking potion, dude. One rupee. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Nothing? Oh, we're so close yet so far. Alright, we need three more, or a, uh, a five rupee drop, and then we're, we're golden. By golden, I mean we'll probably end up dying and having to fucking farm rupees again anyway. Okay. Two more. <clears throat> hey, we got it. Alright, let's try not to get hit before we go in, but if we do... Oh well. And also, we got bombs this time, which is good. It'll allow us to, uh... Blow up some shit that we weren't able to last time. So here's the really crappy part. If we end up dying... In here now... We have to farm a lot of rupees. I, I mean, unless we die without me using the potion, of course. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. We will see... what happens. And here we go. I think if I remember correctly, I learned that... I don't necessarily... need to? Right? I can just leave? Yeah. I think some of these... Wait a minute! Hold up! I didn't realize that because that was the first time I died. Not ever, but in this playthrough, um, they uh, things stay blown open, right? Or no? Yeah, they do. 
I think. Cool. Well, that makes things a little bit more bearable. Get away! Ah, fucking whack. These guys are tough. They move really fast. Man, oh! There we go. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Oop. Fook off. Yeah, cool. Looks like everything uh, stays unlocked or blown open when you die. Maybe it only, like, reshuts, so to speak, if you restart the game. Possibility. And there we go. The patented. <laughs> the patented, that's all I'm gonna say. I hate the wizard robes, dude. They are a bane. A scourge upon the earth. And we got more! How about that? Dude, I didn't even know that they were fucking facing in my direction there. I'm not even kidding. Give me that. Give me that. And give me that. Alright, cool. So, we got the compass marker. So I guess that's good, right? Um, there was a pathway through this other door. Can I blow it up? That... that's not possible, right? You guys remember in the last room, there was like, uh... <sighs> no, 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 no. You probably just get over there by normal methods. Oh, fucking wizard robes. I hate you all. I do. Thank you. I didn't even need to do that. I just realized. That was completely fucking pointless. And, uh, in fact, I'm actually mad at myself now. So. Happy holidays. Okay. Uh, this is where I died last time, right? Yeah, it is. How do you fucking kill these guys, like, consistently, without getting hit? I'm, I'm intrigued to see the strat here, because this is fucking difficult. Oh, that's actually very helpful. Oh yes, that's right, it's in the shape of a skull. Actually pretty cool. <clears throat> well, that's always good. Um, let's see, let's see. Bomb. Boom. Thank you. Oh my god, this dungeon. Sorry, I just need to uh, regain my composure here. This is like literally like just fucking brutal. Oh, he just teleported onto me, didn't he? Yep, he did. And I... Okay. Well... Oh my god. Dude, this sucks. <laughs> oh, alright, gotta use a potion. That fucking blows, dude. Because Ganon's probably gonna destroy... I don't know, man. I might have to get through this dungeon a few times. <sighs> Why, uh...
Dude, the wizard robes are so bad. Honestly. And then when you like put all these other things in the rooms, it's just like, it's fucking brutal. Well, at least we have an item. So it looks like it's a ring upgrade. Ooh. Wait, does this mean- what does this mean? Am I moving faster, or is this like a... I actually almost want to go get my... Am I moving quicker? I don't know. I can't tell. I want to go look it up real quick. I have my uh, instruction manual. So let me go- let me go grab that. And check this shit out. Cause I don't know what this thing does actually. All right, the rip. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh my God, so this reduces damage. So this will be very, very helpful. Now I'm just sad that I couldn't get here uh, before using one of my potions. That's got me a little bit bummed out, honestly. A little bit bummed, if I'm being honest with you guys. But, we'll try to manage. As you can see, I only took one bit of damage there. Which is, uh, nuts, because before it probably would have taken, like, three. The amount of times I got hit. And this is the guy that says, go to the next room. Which should be right here, and I still have three bombs. So hopefully, they don't run out. <clears throat> Ugh, more fucking... I am so fucking sick of whiz robes, dude. Couldn't be more sick of them. Ooh! Fuck you guys! Yeah, eat shit. Drop a heart. Thank you. <clears throat> Boop. The part that's got me a little shook is I remember Ganon is very, like, RNG. Like, he just fucking teleports all over the place, so if, if I don't go in with close to full health and at least one potion, there's a great chance that I just end up dying, if we're being honest with each other. So I'd say it's, uh, you know, it's a little concerning. A little concerning. Guess I will light the room up. Oh, it is actually just a black room, huh? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so this, this guy's a lot easier when you have a fucking projectile. I will say. Um, obviously it gets a little bit harder to hit here down the stretch, but... Nice. Fuck you, dude. Oh, boy oh boy. Well... I feel like I need to do a little bit more exploring. TBH? Again, I wouldn't mind rupee drops in case, uh, you know, we die. Because I feel very confident about coming in here now with the, uh, the advanced ring. For sure. Um... We almost got hit there. So again, rupee drops. Wouldn't mind ya. Would. Not. Mind ya. Fuck me, dude. Yeah, that ring. All I'm gonna say... Yo, how did that hit me? Honestly. I wanna know. How the fuck did that hit me? That was stupid. I thought that I could block that. Can I not block the blue wizard robes? 
Maybe I can't? Oh my god, I'm about to get hit as soon as I go in the fucking door. God damn it. Hey, drop a fucking heart, why don't you? Ugh. Oh, dude, I totally just froze there. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked up, dude. Please drop a heart somewhere. No hearts. Heartless! Why did I do that? <sighs> Just taking a moment to reflect on life. <clears throat> and we are out of bombs, which is actually not very good. We are low on health. <laughs> low on bombs. Mm. See, I'd at least prefer more of these types of enemies, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I get hit by them, I'll be mad at myself, but they're just not as annoying as whiz robes. It's fine. Me. And if I... I'm assuming I have to go down here, because if I have to blow up something, then... I'm basically fucked, so... If I could ever kill this guy, that is. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure... They go down here. Ugh. So, I'm not, like... I don't know. I'm not totally... F mm. Not totally thrilled about- oh my god. <sighs> uh, boy oh boy oh boy, so I'm actually uh, one score away from Ganon, but um... Yeah, I gotta deal with this guy, and it's uh... Taxing my brain. I'm not happy about it, because he's probably gonna end up eating at least three or four of my, my health bars. Uh, excuse me. And then I gotta go into the last fight with only one potion, which isn't, um... Ideal for me? So I'm just trying to think, like, what is the best fucking strategy? Like... I don't know what it is. Like, do you just sit back and mash the buttons? It seems very erratic, you know what I mean? Like... I don't know. It seems very erratic. Alright, whatever. I'm actually doing a decent job. Well, could have done better, but it could have been way worse, I suppose. At least we got a heart back. Uh, Alright, well, I think it's uh, Ganon time, people. Are you ready? <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh no, hold up. Don't I have to hit Ganon with a silver arrow? Oh, no. Dude, I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I went the wrong way, man. I, I think I did. <sighs> Fucking hell. Yeah, don't I need the Silver Arrow to defeat Ganon? I think I do. I think I'm gonna have to, uh... I don't know, do I feel like aggress out of the- <laughs> aggress? I think I have to save- Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to save and quit, which will bring me back to the beginning of the dungeon. I'll have to go back and farm. Sorry, we'll do that off-camera, because that'll be really fucking annoying, I think. Do I need the arrows, though? I don't know if I do. I just- I feel like it's a gimmick. 
It's too bad this isn't a live stream. I wish somebody <laughs> could tell me. Do I need the fucking arrows? I think I do, right? I think you need the arrow. To kill him or something. I don't know if you can kill his final form without the arrow. So, I don't know guys. I think I'm probably gonna, uh... Probably gonna aggress out of the dungeon here. Ah, oh, man, I'm bummed right now. You know what? I'm looking it up real quick. Can you kill Ganon without the silver arrow? Let me see. Can you kill Ganon without silver arrows? Nope, it's not possible. He can only be finished off with the silver- Yep, alright, so I fucked up, guys. Alright, so here's the deal. I can't go fight Ganon right now, because if I do, it is fruitless. So, we're gonna save up, uh, head out of the dungeon, and then we gotta head back in and do some more exploration. Uh, that's pretty much all that there is. No big deal. I'll do a little bit of uh, off-screen grinding to get my rupees back up and my health back up and potions and all that kind of stuff, and then we'll just uh, resume at the beginning of the dungeon. All right, so I got good news and bad news, guys. Good news, we're back. We got full health, we got two potions, and we already have the red magical ring that cuts our damage <clears throat> in half, as opposed, as opposed to what it was earlier. We also have the map and the compass. We got all that shit. We have a full eight bombs. The bad news, guys, I don't have my fucking shield. My shield got eaten up by that one weird fucking enemy that looks like a pastry. I guess it's called a like-like. I had to look it up because I'm like, wait a minute, I was getting hit by all these projectiles. Remember I was getting hit by the whiz robes? It ate my fucking shield. I'm gonna try to get through this because from what I remember, Ganon, uh, I can't block his shots anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just gonna see if I can try to get through the fucking dungeon without using a shield. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult for sure. I think we'll be able to do it, but yeah, I don't know, man, it sucks. Because with the with the the ring, and if we still had the shield, things would be a lot easier, man. So, I don't know. But our goal right now is we need to get those freaking arrows, because if we don't get the arrows, we literally can't do anything. So, that was my mistake. I just completely forgot. I just completely forgot. Be nice to get out of here without getting hit by this guy, right? And yes, I will grab any rupees I can, just in case, right? Because you never fucking know. And these guys were the culprits, apparently, of me missing my goddamn shield. Ain't that a bitch? It would make the whiz robe uh, rooms infinitely easier if I still had my shield. Now I understand. I was sincerely confused for a bit there um, as to why things were, were happening the way they were happening. But now it all makes sense. We don't need to get a lot of this stuff anymore. That's like where the compass was and whatnot. Oh, wait. So... These dudes stay dead then, so that's actually really good. That's really good. And now we can cut through. Oh, Alright, I already know, buddy. <clears throat> this actually might be a lot easier than I think. Because we're actually sort of, kind of... Yeah, we are getting hit a lot more <laughs> without a fucking shield. Basically, we have no protection anymore from these fucking guys. Boop. Okay. But yeah, things actually might be a lot easier than, uh, than I was bracing for. But 
man, it'd be so much easier with the shield. And like I said, I will pick up any rupees just in case because at this point, man, who knows? Who fucking knows? I actually don't know how I managed uh, to get out of there. Oh my god! Yeah, this was it. I cleared this out and I fucking skipped it like an idiot. This definitely brings you to the fucking arrows. Which, yeah, means as long as we don't have like... Oh my god, I'm getting hit by the fucking bats. As long as we don't have too many screen... Oh my fucking Jesus. I mean, this certainly doesn't help. Alright, so clearly I can bomb one of these, right? So it's probably... where am I? Oh, it's gotta be here! I think the arrows are right here. They were right in front of me, dude. Oh well. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes! Oh, it wasn't a full heal? Come on now. Boom? Hell yeah, brother. Alright, let's get those arrows. Uh, I'm like literally kicking myself. Between losing my shield... ...and then... ...forgetting to get the goddamn silver arrow... But you know what? We're in a much better uh, board position right now. We're almost at full health, and it should be a pretty easy trip back at this point. I think I just go back down here, right? Yep, I know where I am. Perfect. I got this. Doot, doot, doot. And then pretty much I go north a couple screens, I think? Err... Wait a minute. No, no, I still got a couple more things to do. That's right. I remember now. Are you gonna fucking keep trying to eat my shit, asshole? You know, the worst part about you? You don't even fucking drop anything, I don't think. So you're just sitting there eating my shield, and you don't even give me hearts, you don't give me fucking rupees, you don't give me shit. You know what? I don't appreciate that. Okay? Um, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yes. Fuck you, dude. Okay. Wow! Do you want to talk about a fucking botchery? Me entering this room. I froze there, I didn't attack the fucking orange guy, and then I got hit like 10 times. Oh my god. That was horrible. Boop. Well, there goes my good fucking position with my health. Right out the door. Oh my f Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I think I'm getting impatient because the end is near. Oh, hey, wow. So gracious of you to finally drop a fucking heart. Thank you. Really, uh... <laughs> Woo! Really appreciate it. Alright. Um, what's the best way through here? Boop. Boop. Hoi -yoy -yoy. Here we are, people. On the precipice of Ganon. Oh wow, a heart. Boop, 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 boop. All right. And that one dude should still be dead, correct? The uh, the weird fly ring thing. I think so. Oh, he's what? Did I not kill him?
Yeah, fuck you, dude. All right, here we go. It's uh, Ganon time, people. So we're about to deal with a, uh, what I like to refer to a mountain of bullshit because if I remember correctly, Ganon just starts disappearing all over the room and being a fucking jerk off. Um, <clears throat> and then I think when he goes to his uh, second phase, you have to shoot him with the arrow. Was our arrow already equipped? Yes, it is. Well, it's not equipped, but it's already with our bow. All right, and remember, we have potions. Do these things shoot at me? All right, he's just invisible. I'm just gonna stand here and... Let's keep swinging. Oh! Is he ready? I think he might be ready. That's it! We did it! Wow, I forgot how easy Ganon is. Now I'm even more pissed because if I didn't <laughs> fucking forget the goddamn... Oh, silver arrows. We could have done it, probably. Um, hold up. Did I... How do I... Okay. There we go! Whew. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. That is a seizure waiting to happen. <laughs> Finally. Peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. Well, it does for now. I will do the second quest. I just gotta figure out if I'm gonna do it like right away or not. So yeah, what's there to really say? <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Uh, it's a fucking classic game. This is the one that another quest will start from here. Press the start button. This is a classic game. Um, spawned, you know, the legendary series. Uh, I love this game. I think it's really good. I just don't... It's not, like, in my top ten. You know, some people might hate me for that. I actually, low-key, kind of like this more than A Link to the Past. You could probably flip-flop me, but... Anyway, we're going to be playing through Zelda in chronological order. Don't get excited. It's not going to happen one after the other after the other after the other. I have other ideas in mind, but the next Zelda game that we will be playing uh, and reviewing will be Zelda 2. And again, I did review this game on my channel a long time ago. I reviewed it in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Oops, back in the day I was an idiot. Um, I'm still okay with the review, so I'm not going to redo it or anything like that. If you guys want to check that out, check out the description or pinned comment below. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough, and uh, stay tuned for the Master Quest at some point, uh, and as well as Zelda 2.